Let's head to the movies now, as many people will be doing this weekend, I hope, and Cameron Crowe's Aloha. It's offended people in Hawaii as it casts Emma Stone as the part Asian, part Hawaiian love interest, and maybe she doesn't carry that off. Kate Roger is with me now. Kate, good morning. Good morning. Good and to have you back. I missed you last I'm week. I'm so sorry. I had no voice. Mm, even I sounded so. like a really bad drunk Bonnie Tyler, so I thought I wouldn't do that to you oh, on God, a Friday I've morning. I've never heard anyone mention Bonnie Tyler for the last two decades. <laughs> um, all right, Aloha. Now, yes. it's got everything I would have thought like Bill Murray. He's Bill great Murray. at the moment. And Cameron Crowe knows how to make a good film and we'll talk about a couple of his good films as opposed to Aloha shortly. I was pumped. The trailer was great. I'd had a sort of eight months of getting excited about this film. Great cast. Brad, as you said, Emma Stone, Bradley Cooper, Rachel McAdams and Bill Murray barely in it, just in fairness. Uh, and it's it just... I, I couldn't fall asleep because I was so angry that... We, angry? I was angry because he let me down mm. on every single level. This is too Two really, really odd films. One's a bog standard days of our lives romance. Set oh, you against mean this one film is two odd films? Two odd films together that are essentially nonsensical. Right. He plays some bizarre kind of military contractor who goes back to Hawaii um, to the sins of his past, essentially, to launch a rocket for Bill Murray, who's some enormous billionaire who wants to launch a rocket into space, um, which is incidental to all of the stuff that's going on. Uh, and you kind of slowly sit back and sit up and you think, none of this makes sense sense. None of the interactions between the characters uh, feel real mm -hmm. uh, and Cameron Crowe knows how to draw a really great character and give you great memorable dialogue. And the first Actually it's of... interesting you mention the memorable dialogue because some of the best lines in movie history have come from Cameron Crowe. Exactly. Uh, uh, Jerry Maguire which we'll talk about shortly has a couple of the absolute classics. Um, and this, and I just did, I just got angry and angry. You talk about Emma Stone, um, offensive on cultural levels. Uh, it's the first time I've not enjoyed her in a film and God. that I actually just wanted to punch her in the face. Okay so should people go and see it because it's no, so bad or just not No, just not avoid go? it like the plague. Uh, remember Cameron Crowe for what you love and go and rent a good DVD of his. Uh, it's been called the worst film he's ever made. Oh, my God. Um, it's been called uh, a completely nonsensical mishmash of just mediocrity. All right, uh, all right. It's been so I, just, I, I, just can't, I just can't bear to even talk about all it right, anymore. All right, the new release is Aloha. Do not go and watch it. <laughs> now, the pick of the week, though, your pick of the week? Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you to... Wherever it is that you get your movies from, whether mm -hmm. it's your local DVD store, whether you download it, whether you own it in your own collection, and remember Cameron Crowe when he well made good films. Now. You know, I, I agree. I've started to buy them now because you buy them. them for very slightly more than you can rent them for, and it's ownership. I, and you can revisit them. Like yep. this weekend yep. will be a classic example to do so. And Cameron Crowe did a wonderful film, which I'll just mention called Say Anything, back when John Cusack knew how to, to be in a good film. Um, but Jerry Maguire uh, is one of those films which matures with age. Absolutely love it. Tom Cruise at his best. You talk about iconic lines. Up, eh? Show me the money. Show me the oh money. my goodness, you had me at hello and you complete me. I mean hello. Aren't they amazing? No, they so always give me good So your pick goosebumps. this week is, is oh no, just go rent it, buy it, whatever. Watch either Jerry Maguire or John Cusack can say anything and remember Cameron Crowe from the good old days. I hope he'll be back, Paul, and because and I, I still think he's got it in him as a filmmaker. I just think this was okay. his misfire. Now, I'm going to upset you now I, because oh, here's my oh, suggestion. Not, I'm already upset. I had to review Aloha. Well, here's my Cameron Crowe suggestion. I loved Elizabethtown. I loved it. How interesting. Yeah, I just loved it. Now, partly because... You might like I, Aloha then. No, partly I am in love with Kirsten Dunst. Okay, no, I, I get that and yeah. I get her and I think she's fabulous. And Orlando so, and also, Bloom's a, so insipid a, in it. Yes, he is insipid in it. But, but it's sort of an insipid story, really. Yeah. But it's a road trip story and Kirsten Dunst is brilliant. She is fabulous. Okay, I'll give you that. It's long, though. Um, it just went on and on and on and on. I think that is one I might have no, had a Do you know what I'm going to do? In. You've talked me out of it. No, I, I don't. do not get out <laughs> Elizabeth Town. What about... Almost Famous, you could do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, fair enough. That's right, my pick, Almost swap. Famous. Um, right, top five. <laughs> that's a really good question. <laughs> I've got no idea. <laughs> Thank you. I have a list now. I'm having one of those Fridays. Um, San Andreas, of course, The Rock. How fabulous is that? Is it fabulous? Um, it's actually just The Rock doing what The Rock does. He's charming. I, look, it went straight to the top of the box office globally. Mad Max still in there as well, which you finally saw. Thank goodness for that. Yep, yep, yep. Um, And Spy, Pitch Perfect 2 in there. And Tomorrowland, George Clooney not getting great reviews. No. Have mm. you seen it? I have not. I might watch it. I have to go on an aeroplane. I'm going to watch it tonight. All right. Are you here next week at this time? I'm away, God, I hope but so. I'm going to come to you live from LA 
today, actually, because oh, Jurassic brilliant. World is about to be released. Huge, obviously, for Jurassic Park fans. Um, that's having a massive uh, premiere and junket in LA next week, so you'll get the first New Zealand review of that. And do you know what? I think that is among the best cinema music of all time. The it's theme to Jurassic Park is stunning, and the way they've updated it during the, the franchise, I think, is brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. Uh, look, I agree. So, Fantastic, um, let's Kate. Chat that. Let's chat dinosaurs next week. Let's do that. Asia, let's we? do that. Okay, Kate, thank you very much. Kate Roger.